Dean, you've helped guide Aston Villa back to the Premier League. Just sum up your emotions now in front of these fans at the full-time whistle. Tough. It was a, the longest 15 minutes I think I've ever had. Um, we probably deserved it just at the end. Um, you know, it was a scrappy game. I thought we started the second half brilliant. Deservedly took the, the, got the second goal, but then uh, I thought Derby came at us really well, moved the ball well. Players started cramping and, you know, they got the goal. But the biggest thing for me, I thought defensively were magnificent. They, we restricted them to, you know, shots from outside the box an awful lot. Um, without playing great, we did what we had to do. Did that goal just for half time change your team talk at all? A little bit, yeah. I mean, I didn't think our use of the ball was great. Um, I thought they probably had more ball in our half than we did theirs. Um, as I say, I didn't think they really hurt us. I thought until the, the last 15, 20 minutes, um, I just felt we didn't switch the ball quick enough. We knew, we knew, and we spoke about working with them playing a diamond, and we had to keep switching it. And we was a little bit slow and kept down the one, going down to one side, but. As I've said a long time, no, many times, these boys know how to win. We're used to seeing John McGinn going for things he probably shouldn't get. Did you expect him to get on the end of that one? Well, one of the big things that we spoke about was we scored four crosses out of the seven goals early in the season against them. And, um, you know, we felt that we could be a danger. Gazzy's got his header and then Gazzy's had a shot and John's gone in there and challenged the keeper. And, yeah, he deserves that. He had a fantastic season, you know, so it's brilliant. You said you wouldn't get emotional until you pulled this off. How are you feeling right now? I was a little bit emotional up there when I saw the family, I uh, must admit. You know, my brother, my, my boy, my, my mum, my, my wife, my daughter, they were all up there in tears. So, you know, fantastic achievement for all these lads. They've been magnificent this season and we can start planning now. And of course, this is just part one. We've got great backing from the owners. What is possible for Aston Villa in the Premier League? Oh, there's huge potential. Um, but. Uh, listen, going into next season, we'll be a hell of a lot better than we were today. Um, but really looking forward to it. This club deserves to be in the Premier League. The supporters that you see here today, we probably could have sold another 20,000, you know. Um, and it's magnificent that we're sending them, out, them home happy. I've been here with them before in 94 when we beat Man United. And it's a great feeling winning a trophy. What was it like being Aston Villa manager on the sideline there? Was it surreal? Uh, no, I was quite calm to be honest, you know, it was one of them games where you know you've got to be calm, you've got to keep keep good, um, clear thoughts, you know, and uh, you know, we got the win. Dean, on behalf of everyone at Aston Villa, thank you, congratulations. Thank you.